Hello and welcome to North East Live. I'm Amy Miller. Coming up in the programme, Elmer's Great North Parade is teaming up with Newcastle's Mella. Prince William has said he would fully support his children if they were gay, but admitted he would worry about the added pressures. I don't see why people have such a problem with it. If, that, if that's the way people are, that's the way people are. And I think we should move with the times and that's the way it should Everyone should be treated the same. And Stockton is celebrating Armed Forces Day. That's all in the still to come. Now though, it's time for your 60 second news update. And first, cars could be completely banned from Newcastle city centre one day a week under radical new plans to cut pollution. Environmental campaigners are calling on council bosses to make changes to tackle the city's toxic air crisis. Townside Council is currently debating plans to impose a toll on vehicles driving into Newcastle to comply with a government order to try and reduce dangerous emissions. The first trial could be the 22nd of September to coincide with Car Free Day. Next, plans for a 180-foot sculpture in the Northumberland Hills are back before the councillors next week. An application for the new tourist attraction on the summit of Cold Law went before the planning committee at the start of this month, where opinion proved to be divided. Known as the Elizabeth Landmark, it would be commissioned to commemorate Queen Elizabeth II and the Commonwealth. And finally, North Shields Brit Award winner Sam Fender will no longer perform at Glastonbury this weekend. He has posted a message to his fans on social media explaining he needs more time to, cover from his, to recover from his illness and has been told by doctors not to perform. And with that, those were your news headlines. It's time now for North East Live. 